How's it going, YouTube? This is Falcon two zero eight one. We got some more Battlefield Four beta uh, domination on Siege of Shanghai again. Sorry, <laughs> uh, I just like to play domination more, uh, just because it's a faster game mode, faster pace, uh, and the time is is relatively short compared to a conquest game. But I'll definitely have a conquest game for you guys uh, later on. I definitely gotta go into a conquest game and and uh, practice with the sniper rifles because the, the obviously the I don't know if you guys notice this but the, the bullet trajectory and the bullet speed are consider considerably slower than in Battlefield 3 and that's a very very, very big pro problem at least for me just because it, it just makes everything so wacky and it doesn't feel right when you're playing with the snipers and I, I've definitely had some issues with the snipers and the hitboxes like I would shoot someone right in the chest and it would not register anything. Uh, it, it'd be like, it'd be really, really random. And unfortunately, you know, that's what it, that's what happens with a beta. And, you know, luckily I read up on the forums cause I thought, you know, something was wrong with my aim. Cause I am using the 360 controller. So, you know, I thought something was going on and uh, I was definitely touting my, my accuracy and aim. For a second there, and then I read that there was, you know, there's some neck code hitbox and all this, all this, you know, bad stuff that just makes shooting a little wacky. Uh, and you'll you'll definitely feel it if you if you play with the weapons. Uh, I, I didn't have that problem with the 50 cal. I think maybe, you know, one or two shots might not register out of like maybe 10, but uh, definitely with the regular sniper rifles, I am. I am definitely having issues with that, but so I decided just to give you guys a assault, uh, just gameplay uh, of me really doing well with the with the controller. Um, I I basically decided to stick with about 25% uh, sensitivity in game, and then I didn't have a problem just binding all that stuff to the controller. So I did try and play with mouse and mouse and keyboard, but uh, it's been so long uh, that I actually it felt really unnatural to me, really really weird. Uh, and I, you know, obviously didn't really do that well that my first game. So I might, I might post a, like a little series or something like that with, with me trying to relearn about with mouse and keyboard and, and, and all that good stuff. So uh, hopefully they dice releases a patch this coming week. Uh, you know, fixing the the stuttering and the frame rate problems. Cause I think that has a lot to do with, with, the, with the issue of the netcode. And you know the you know the hits registering and all that stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, aside from that, uh, I am having a lot of fun with the game. Uh, I I have been noticing that uh, like the 360 and the PC are suffering from uh, which one like like textures texture distance. Uh, oh, and this kill right here, you can see. I don't know if if my aim was just that little bit off on that third guy but i should have been able to kill that 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 third guy but i don't know and then here's another problem with, about situational awareness it's it's sometimes really hard to to pick out people in the distance and, and i guess maybe because i am playing with everything on load just to be able to have some respectable frames per second on pc that you know sometimes textures disappear and then reappear is the closer i get to them and you'll see that throughout the gameplay but hopefully when they release the patch, I'll be able to bump things up and, and be able to, you know, really have some really good detail. And, you know, another big problem with this game type and domination is just the spawns are all just all over the place. You know, we'll, we'll basically cap a flag and then they'll, you know, they'll, they'll basically spawn even though we cap that, cap that flag. Um, but overall, you know, I did really well. And unfortunately, you know, my team started doing really good. We, we were capping flags and then it was like all of a sudden all the good players switched over to the other team and I got left with really crappy players. They all went negative except for me. And, you know, we got steamrolled basically. And then here's an example right here of just the bad spawns. And, you know, that, that shouldn't happen. I hope, you know, they fix that stuff because you know, the, the game type is fun, but unfortunately, just the, the bad spawns hinder it really bad. But, uh, let's see, uh, let me see what else I can talk about. Oh, the, the Scar H is actually, uh, that I'm using here. I got it all tricked out with the muscle break, the ergonomic grip, and, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, 
you know, 21 shots, uh, very, very powerful, but you definitely got to watch out uh, and use your, you know, your, your bullets wisely because you'll definitely run out real fast and you'll, you know, you'll be have to picking up, you know, another gun from somebody else. And I, when I was using this gun, I was taking people down very, very quickly, but uh, at the same time, I could only do about, I could only take about maybe two people max before I would have to reload. So I couldn't really do a, uh, like a, a triple kill or anything like that. Uh, but towards the, towards the end of the game, I actually get some, some really good shots. So, but as you can see, you know, it's not that bad to, you know, to play with a controller in this game. I know, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you always want to use mouse and keyboard just for that accuracy and, and being able to be so precise, but you know, it's, it's very doable, especially in, in public lanes. I definitely would recommend it if you're thinking about doing like a competitive match or something like that against another team, because you'll, you'll definitely, you know, probably won't be able to hold your own. Uh, I guess for me, in, in my, in my sense, I, I probably would be able to hold my own just a little bit better than, than most people but uh, overall you know you, you actually seem to be a little bit better with without having the no aim assist and, and with it so you know i don't know who knows and, and you do notice it too like if you guys have a pc uh just hook up the controller try it real quick and then you know go go into a go from pc and then go to console so you can see how the aim assist you know works on console it's it's pretty pretty crazy and, and sometimes it's kind of annoying and then eventually you know if you're playing console so long you don't really notice it as bad but you know when you transition from pc to console just try it it's it's kind of funny and uh, it's not too bad so uh, but aside from that uh you know not much i can say you know aside from you know the, the game is a lot of fun obviously and you know hopefully they they do fix a lot of these issues and you know they you know they just do all all the the fixes and, and stuff like that so because obviously they're going to come out with a day one patch and you know i just hope that it's not going to be like battlefield 3 where you know oh here's where i think here's where i get the multi kill but it, I hope it's not going to be like Battlefield 3 where it just took forever to, to get patches out and fixes and stuff like that. And, you know, like how they messed up the suppression and then we had to wait like three months, you know, because they, you know, at the same time that they messed up suppression, they, they messed up the sniper rifles because you couldn't shoot anything. You couldn't shoot back at people. Uh, thankfully, the suppression isn't so bad in this game, but uh, overall, I'll see, you can see right there, you know, issues with the, the textures and, and stuff like that, but... Uh, that's pretty much the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I went. We only lost by 97 tickets, which isn't too bad, I guess. But you can see here in the scoreboard where you know I was the only one that went positive, or pretty much positive, or more than positive, I should say. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I go. Hope you guys enjoyed the the quick game. Remember to rate, like, comment. Always love those comments, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.